Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And today we are going to be making tags from book pages. So I know you all can hear me because I just turned the sound on. I almost missed it. Y'all got two signs. Look at that. I'm so ridiculous when it comes to the volume. <laughs> so how is everyone doing today? Hello, Barb. And Penny, thank you, Penny, for the heads up on the time because it was wrong and I didn't look at it. So good thing you have my back. <laughs> so I changed the time. Hi, Boo Boo Kitty and Seek a But You Can't Hide. Hey, hey, hey. So we're going to be doing some, um, oh, I, I think I just said that. We're going to be doing some tags from book pages today. And before we get started, I always like to just put it out there that if you love a junk journaling like we do, then you may want to go ahead and click that subscribe button and then click the notification button as well so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. And also, we have a little club. We have a Facebook group. <laughs> so if you uh, would like to share your stuff and see what others are doing as well, you can come over to Facebook and the Facebook group link is in the description below. And it is Junk Journal Buddies because we're all buddies here. So I kind of uh, been working on this a little bit this afternoon because y'all had to make myself like not work on these journals because I have so many other things that I have been neglecting. <laughs> hey, Lisa. And so I worked on those things that I have been neglecting. And then this afternoon I worked on these tags for a couple of hours because I told y'all, I told y'all I had like a gazillion tags to do. So I'm getting close to being finished. The books are actually done. They just need to be uh, stuffed with some good tag tagginess in the inside. So um, these are what the tags look like that we're going to be working on today. I put like a little charm on this one. It's a dragonfly. And of course, y'all know I had to do my uh, messy stitching as well. And hold on, y'all, because I forgot to... I forgot to set my, my camera settings up. Sometimes I'm on the money and sometimes I'm not. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is what the uh, one of the tags looks like. And I did a few more here. And I tried to make them very simple. So I wanted that text to show behind the actual pages and of course, I back them with some of the age paper that I have over at pleasantcreations.com. Shameless plug. So that's what we're going to be working on uh, tags like these because I, I need quite a few of these. So what I did was I went ahead and I kind of grouped some things together, but also um, I was making these into tags as well. We worked on these together too. And this is from the uh, Flower Doodles um, digital kit that I cut down and I sewed around. And then what I did next was I just took this little doohickey right here. Hey, mouse. I took this doohickey right here, which is actually a slot punch. And you can see the slot that I did on there. And I'm just going to um, make these into some tags real quick. So let me just, let me move some of this stuff out the way. Because it's a spot of a distraction. Because I, I, of course, I always have just a ton of stuff on my desk waiting to be used. So I'm going to need my little attacher here or uh, Tim Holtz mini stapler and my big scissors because... They cut uh, fabrics and ribbons very well. So, and I'm just going to just put some ribbon here. Before I cut it, I'm kind of measuring things out because this is probably the simplest tag out of all the tags that I've made. But sometimes simple is just beautiful, right? Okay. So, and then all I'm going to do with this is just staple it to ta finish tag. <laughs> 
So what I did was, um, I think there's eight of the flower doodles on the page. So I just printed out a page. I cut, cut it into eight little rectangles. I wasn't trying to measure anything. And then I used my tiny words. Um, let me pull that out. I pulled my Tim Holtz ideology small talk words out and I just put some words at the bottom here of course there's some sewing and then um, put the tag on and this tag is a finish so I didn't do anything to the back because you can still write on it it's just printed on cardstock and it's just perfect very easy tag so I'm gonna just go ahead and put the ribbons into the rest of these also so I hope you all had a fantastic and relaxing weekend. I think my weekend was pretty relaxing. I've been kind of tired, but I don't know why. I think, uh, I don't know. I think I'm like doing more than I think I'm doing. Like I did a lot today. So, and I'm already, I'm tired. So by the time I get off of here, <laughs> it's going to be lights out for Lizzie. Kind of. I have to, of course, I have to fix um, some vittles for me and Slim before we uh, really, you know, wind down the evening. Because that's how our evening's going to go. But I didn't do anything special today. Just my normal work for today. And uh, post office run I had quite a few packages that had to go out. Because although I have like my shipping time is like three to five days, but I always ship the next day. <laughs> always. Oh, the, is the heat killing you, Penny? Because, girl, that's, why, that's one reason why we're in. Even when I went to the beach, oh, my goodness. The heat was just crazy. Y'all punch this like on the side instead of in the middle. I like that little punch. That slot. I think these are originally made for like ID card holders, but I put a link below in the description to uh, the one that I got. They're actually inexpensive too, so that might be something you want to add to your tag repertoire. I like it a lot. And of course, I saw somebody else with one, and I had to go. I had to go on the hunt for it. I was like, I want one of those. And I failed it. As I think most of the tags that I made were kind of um were kind of simple. Yeah, that heat wears you out, doesn't it? <laughs> it's cold there, boo boo kitty. In the low 80s. You know what? I wish it was in the low 80s here. It doesn't. I, I, I like the. I like it down here because it's not cold. But at the same time, you know, I'm not married to the heat for sure. <laughs> hey, Super Tech. I almost missed you. I almost didn't see you in there. Almost you. I've used up quite a bit of ribbon and. The reason why is because now, since I'm storing the ribbon a different way, I'm able to see what I have, which is fantastic. Cause y'all know what going for going on the search for ribbons in your stash is not fun if it's not at least semi-organized. Cause you know, I wouldn't say it's all that, but all right. So these are actually finished because we had worked on these together. Hey, uh, Rachel at Scrap Craftastic. We had worked on these together, but the only thing I had done was just kind of sew around these. So now they're actually turned into tags. They were quick tags too, because I didn't have to do too much to them. So that's the beauty of having some ephemera already done. So let's just put those over to the side and have just a little bit of this ribbon left, but I'm just gonna leave it on my little uh my little clothes thingamabob and put that back okay so 
I don't need this. So I can put that back. I don't need that. All this stuff can go back. All right. So what I did was on these, I'll just pull a few of these out. Like about four. Some of these I haven't put the back on, but. All right. So what I did was I got the coffee dye paper. Of course, this is not a tutorial, but I'm telling you all what I did just in case you want to do it also. Hey, Nakora. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. So I did, I cut out the back and they're just, I put some of the uh, glue on there, just enough to hold it on because y'all know. Y'all know I'm gonna sew. And then the next thing I did was I took out some washi tapes and most of these I had next to me. So I took out some washi tapes because I'm trying to use my washi tape more. But you know, that doesn't always happen. So let me, actually I'm finished with the washi tape because I went through and I put all the washi tape where I wanted it to go. And so you can see like on here, here's some washi. Here's some washi here. And so on and so on and so on. And then I pulled some pieces uh, that I thought would be good here. And like I said, I don't want to cover up too much stuff because I wanted to uh, I wanted to show the book pages. Oh, and by the way, the book pages is is are too deep actually. So I glued two pieces of two book pages together, so you can see. I glued them together. So this is like three layers. So this is a nice, going to be a nice sturdy tag. So I glued those together because, you know, we always have tons of paper. So you can always, I mean, it's nothing to glue two pieces of paper together. And then these tags, these tags are, let me put my old lady glasses on one so I can see. Hey, Tamika and Jan, we have... They are about two and a half inches by five and a half inch. Well, about five and three quarters. Two and a half inches and five, approximately five and three quarters. Because these are going to go into some different pockets. They're already earmarked to go into some pockets. And I'm using some of the labels that I have in the digital kit that's up in Pleasant Creations as well. So I think I use, for this job, I use all of... <laughs> I use all of the the labels that I had printed out, y'all. I went crazy. Well, I guess I could have printed some more. Actually, I printed these on sticker paper, too. So that makes it easier to use. <clears throat> so I don't have to do any gluing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have some flowers. And then this came from the uh, PC. Um, uh, tickets so I just ripped some of the papers apart and put them here just for a little bit of an embellishment at the bottom and I'm not doing any um, I'm not doing any distressing I don't think all right so let's get to gluing some stuff I feel like I don't know why I feel like this the light is dim but it's all the way up, so I don't know. So did anybody do anything interesting this weekend? What did you all do that was interesting this weekend? Share, share. Sharing is caring. <laughs> oh, we were talking a little bit about glue in the, um, in the group. About the different glues and how they stick. And some people said that like the school glue doesn't stick good for them and i'm telling you this it sticks good for me uh once i figured out that i needed to use like more than just a dab because when i was was just putting just a little bit on there it didn't work that great for me so i knew i had to put just a little bit more so i'm gonna cut this off I don't want any overhangs. And then this is gonna go at the top. But not yet. Let's do a little bit more gluing here. 
And I'm glad I used the washi tape too, because that just kind of it adds a little niceness to our um, our book pages. And you know, I was making all those tags with the collages and stuff, but you know what? The book pages are like perfect because. You can do a lot of stuff with the book pages instead of pulling out like some of your other um, cardstock and whatnots. I have to concentrate to do this. <laughs> Probably the next set that I print, I won't print them as stickers or I'll print them a little bit differently to make it easier to use for myself anyway. Y'all look at this big old beautiful flower. I love it. Oh, Barb, you went camping. You know what? I've never went civilian camping. <laughs> but I was in the military, so of course. I've been military camping. That's a whole different uh a whole different story. Ooh, I like this flower. Hey, Jamie. Y'all, thank you, everybody. Thank you all for coming on with me. You're my company for today. This is the fun part of the day for me. Because usually, I'm not doing stuff that's fun. I'm doing stuff that's necessary. <laughs> all right. And then this one's going to go on here. I'm just going to wait for that glue to dry a little bit before. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'll just fold it over to the back. Because it's going to get sewn anyway. That part, but this part has to get cut. It's too short to fold over. All right, next. Of course, I have like over 20 of these that I want to get done. All right, so. And by me trying to keep it simple, I didn't have to use too many pieces. But I'll tell you, man, I have just, I've dug into my ephemera doing this book. Big time. I'm going to have to replenish a lot of stuff. Do a lot of printing and a lot of cutting and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'll put you that way. All that good stuff. So y'all know if well, if you were here on Friday, you know that on Saturday I had to go and get my windshield fixed. Because or if you watch the update over at um Junk Journal Buddies Facebook group. Then you would know that I did get my um, my windshield fixed, and it didn't cost me anything. The insurance company paid for the whole thing, and they told me that um, if it would have been like other damage done to the car, like if I was in an accident or something like that, then I would have to pay the deductible. But for um, windshield damage like that, where a rock hits your window and it breaks or it cracks, then the insurance company would pay for it. Because even like if it's like a little ding, they would, I think they would just like fill that little hole. But um, my ding turned into a, a, a full on crack across the window and it was like just right across where I could see. So they replaced it. No issues. It took them about, um, I would say, about an hour and a half to fix. Yeah. Oh, see, you didn't you didn't hear about? Are you talking about my windshield? My windshield that got cracked. Or are you talking about something else? Because <laughs> I don't know if you were here or not on Friday. On Friday when we went to the beach and we were driving down the highway, a rock got kicked up by somebody's car or truck or something and uh, um, and broke the window. I have Progressive. I'm with Progressive Insurance. 
But any insurance company would pay for it, though. I kind of I already knew that. I don't know how I knew, but I I did know that insurance usually pays for um, if you get a ding in your window. All right, so I'm going to sew some of these, and then I'll do some more. I'll do these, like, in steps here. Oh, it happened to you also? Do you still have that crack in your window? Because you may be able to still get it fixed <laughs> for free. All right, so now we're going to do some sewing. And I have uh, I have some black, um, black thread in here that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to do just a straight stitch today, y'all. Just a straight stitch. You watch the replay? <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm just attaching the uh, tab. I feel bad that when you guys don't get to watch. <laughs> And I am sewing on my SQ9185 Brother sewing machine, better known as the Whippersnapper. <laughs> <clears throat> better known as the Whippersnapper. Penny, you have progressive? Is that is that what you're talking about? Y'all, when the chat goes, is there like, there's like a delay. So by the time you all answer, sometimes I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And of course, I'm doing my little bit of my straight messy stitching on this because I want to keep these tags simple because the other uh, tags have so many different stitchings and stuff. I think <coughs> the simple with the with the plain Janes are quite nice, and it's not that plain anyway. So ugh. I will look at all of those once we get done. Um, I used the um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, tab punch to make the tabs, and I did th these ahead of time. And what I did was, is I just, do I have any more of that paper left? It's in here somewhere. I took a full sheet of my aged paper, and I stamped on it, and then I cut, cut it with the punch. So... I had lots of punches out of that one piece of paper. Yep, I have progressive and I mean, they didn't give me a hard time or anything. It was just what happened. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. And you know, I don't know, but I actually don't even think, because um, when I went on the telephone to file a claim, you know, you have to go through the automated system. They kind of, they kind of, they asked if it was like windshield damage, if it was the front windshield, if it was the back, and you just have to say yes or no. And I told them it was the front windshield. And I think they just directed me right to the people that do the uh, glass, which is Safe Light. And you don't have to use um, the people that um, they recommend, but I was like, why not? Um, I'm not paying for it. I haven't heard anything bad about the, the company. So I think th that's who I talked to. So they probably do everything for you like an insurance adjuster. And I, I don't even think I talked to Progressive, even though I called their claims number. If that makes sense. Oh, Jan says she hit the mother load at the thrift store. What you get? What you get? Do tell. <laughs> Do tell what you got. I would love to go to the thrift store. I have to, I'm trying to use what I have. I've been doing a pretty good job lately of using some of the things that I have. Kind of proud of myself. I am kind 
of proud of myself. Are you all tired of seeing tags now? Because <laughs> we've been doing tags for like a whole week. But I'm almost done with these journals, so. I, I may get done with my tags by tonight. I'm not sure. I don't know how much more work I'm going to do tonight on these. It's like I said, Lizzie is pooped out. And I'm trying not to stay wound up for too long at nighttime because usually I'll, when I get off with you all, then I start, I'll keep crafting and till like one o'clock in the morning and then I'll go watch some YouTube videos and it's just crazy when I should just go to sleep. I feel like I'm gonna miss something if I go to sleep. <laughs> Dreaming tags <laughs> and collages, right? Tags and collages. Yeah, these flowers are nice. The flowers are nice. I need to cut some more flowers too because I'm like almost on empty of everything. Like my, my ephemera book is like, hey, what are you doing? Where's all my stuff at? <laughs> I'm like, shut up, ephemera book. You eat too much. You eat too much ephemera. You know, and I still have to, well, I have to get Slim some school supplies, so. We need to like kind of go out this week and get some school supplies and that and then I can get me some supplies too. Like the glue sticks that everybody's talking about. Get them on the cheap. I'm concentrating y'all. Y'all know I'm, I'm stitching these uh, tags into submission. I went around each tag like twice. All right, so let's see. Let's put some more together because those are all done. All right. I had to pick the ones that I have the backs on already. Okay. Let's do put my paper clips away. So they won't fly off the desk, y'all. My floor up under my desk is terrible. <laughs> That's so much paper and fabric and and uh thread and all kinds of stuff. I have to stay up all night to get it all done. You know what? I think even if I stayed up all night, I still wouldn't get it all done. That's the thing. It's like you can stay up all you want to, but it's not going to help. All right. So let's do, let's do some gluing on these guys here. It helped that I put everything together too. No, the flowers are not in um, the store. I haven't gotten around to that yet. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in as a uh, a print and cut item, basically, where you buy them already cut, or as a digital. I don't think I'm gonna do them as a digital, but I'm not sure. Y'all have so many things that need to go up in the store. It's ridiculous. And y'all see, I'm using I'm using the guest checks, the, the small ones, because in the digital kit, now these are in a digital kit, and that's up in the shop. And in the digital kit, you can, um, there's some small ones, some minis, and the regular size ones. So I've used the heck out of the mini ones. So I'm on empty for my mini, so I have to, re I have to reprint those. Let's see, I'm gonna put you off to the the side here. And I'm just gonna wrap it around instead of cutting it. 
See, the book pages look so plain until you start putting stuff on it, right? See, this was like just plain book page. Remember, it's two pages together to give it some sturdiness. And then I put the age paper on the back. Hi, journaler scrapping. Thanks for coming on. We're doing some tags today. Like we've been doing for the last few days. <laughs> you like the guest checks, all sizes. And you know, the good thing about the digital kits as well is... You can make things even smaller if you wanted to because you can resize the images. So that's nice. Y'all, the sticker paper ain't a joke. I'm trying to get these off. There we go. I like it because you can just stick things right on, but at the same time, it could be a little bit of a pain. But I don't have to use any glue, so that's nice. Now this little piece, um, I don't know which pack this one's in. This is in one of the ephemera packs. And I just print this on like regular paper. Some things, if I know I'm going to be doing kind of a collage type of thing, I just print it on regular paper. Because I don't need the bulk from the, from the cardstock. Why, thank you. Thank you, Boo Boo Kitty. All right. So, oh. Hey, I'm missing. Oh, here you are. I was going to say, I'm missing you. Let me put you back on here. Oh, um, on Sunday. For our family day, we went to the movies and we went to see Dora the Explorer. <laughs> so, do you all know who Dora the Explorer is? Thank you, Tamika. I'm going to show you all after I get done with them. Um, at the at the end of our session today, what we what I've accomplished what they all look like. Dora the Explorer. I like saying that, Dora the Explorer. All right, and then I'm going to put the guest check on here. And I don't have to put anything else on here after I put the guest check on because... The guest check has all the elements. It has a collage element on it already, which is very, very beautiful and stitching as well. It looks like faux stitching, but it's real stitching. Uh Oh, that one tried to come off on me. All right, next. <laughs> Swiper or swiping. Dora is famous at your house. <laughs> I don't think Dora is famous at my house. I'm trying to think. I think when my kids were little, I don't think Dora was around when my kids were little. But of course, the grandkids watch Dora. So it's definitely a kiddie movie, but I did enjoy it though. And the girl or the lady that they got to play Dora, she looks just like the cartoon character, which was kind of cool. Let's do you this way a little bit. You know, it's nice not to have to do too much to these. Just do a little bit of gluing and what pam You got it, tag. All right, and this one, I already put that down. So this one, we're gonna do like this. Make it easy. Right 
Take it easy, take it easy. And my little ticket with the birds on it was well, more like almost like a ribbon. All right, and even now, it still looks quite plain on top of the sewing on there. I know y'all don't like it when I cut the little pieces off, but I don't want them to get snagged on anything when I'm um when I'm putting them in the books because they're going in pockets. Oh, she loves Dora. Y'all know what? That was um, the Teletubbies. I think that, I don't know if the Teletubbies are still on. One day I said, let me let me see what the big deal is with the Teletubbies. Because, you know, they were big at one time. And I still don't get it. Because I watched the Teletubbies. And all they did was, like, walk in a circle. With their little purses and stuff. And listen to the music. And they just went into a circle like dun 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 and they did that for like twenty minutes. I said I'm determined to watch and see what they're gonna do. They did that for like twenty minutes. I was like, it must be something uh subliminal that the kids like about the Teletubbies. My kids didn't I think they I don't know if my kids were grown when the Teletubbies came out either, but I was like, oh no. We can't do Teletubbies. They were too boring. I could watch the cartoons and stuff with the kids, but not the Teletubbies. <laughs> they were too boring for me. I'm glad I decided just to do it like a straight stitch only, because, you know, sometimes, can you be quiet to me, because sometimes I'll be doing too much. <laughs> Get some of these screens off. Now the sewing really makes the, the tag come to life, doesn't it? It's like, tag, where have you been all of my life? quickly let's have to make sure that the um, that the tabs are in the right direction because once you fold them one side will be upside down and the other side will be right side up if you stamp them if they have if they have a uh, directional pattern on them which th these do and I really like them. I'm definitely gonna uh, probably just sit and make some tabs because that's easy. I could actually do that in my bed while watching TV or something. I don't have anything that I'm watching right now. I started watching the Wu Assassin on um, Netflix. But I don't know, I'm not really enjoying it. That's some good fight scenes, but it's kind of weird. The storyline is it's not jiving for me. That's one of those series that just kind of popped up. It pops up. I like going on Netflix and stuff just pop up. It's like a Netflix original. And I'm like, ooh, let me watch that. Sometimes they, sometimes they're hit or miss, especially their original movies. <laughs> Thomas the Tank. <laughs> I like Thomas. Alrighty. 
y'all get one here. I'm going to have to get up and get some paper to finish the other ones because they don't have the back on them. You got to have the back. I mean, they don't have to, but I like to have lots of journaling opportunities. And if it doesn't have a back, there's no opportunity to write because there's text on the back. How many of you actually write in your journals? I would love to know that. I need to ask that question over at the Facebook group. Because I suspect lots of people don't even write in their journals. Which is okay. You do with your journal as you please. I like writing in my junk journal. I do jur writing, journal writing and just junk journaling in general with images and stuff like that. But how many of you actually write in your journals? Breathing all hard. Y'all, the sewing machine is really far from me. <laughs> I have to stretch over my desk to get to it. It's better than a sponge head, a SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob. I could see how his laugh might drive some, drive some people crazy. <laughs> but I do like SpongeBob. I always like SpongeBob. Now, SpongeBob been around for a while. He was around when my kids were little. But I don't think we did anything else this weekend besides go to the movies and got the car fixed. And I think me and Slim went to the grocery store. <laughs> we didn't do anything else. We did the beach on Friday. Now this, this tag is looking a little cray cray with my sewing. only live once so like crazy so like a crazy animal so Jamie says she writes in her in hers oh wait I gotta go back now everything must have just hit the chat when I was looking down <laughs> So Seek But You Can't Hide says that she writes in her gratitude journal every day. And journaling, scrapping, only one journal, write in a creative journal. Okay. And Mouse says she ha says, have you ever completed a journal and decided that you didn't like or take it completely apart? I've never um, completed a journal that took apart. I've, I've never completed a journal that I didn't like. Now, I have made a cover that I didn't like only one time, and it's still a cover. It's not a book, but not a full book, no. I've never made a full book because usually it's like almost with anything. It's like sometimes you got you to gotta finish things to the end to really see the beauty of it, the finished product. Because sometimes things just don't look beautiful until they get finished, and then I like it. Cause some things I've started, I was like, oh, no. Mm -mm. I don't know what I'm going to, I'm just going to just go with it. And usually it comes out okay. I'm already thinking about uh, what my next set of journals is going to be. I will say it's not going to be 20. <laughs> I'm not going to go the 20 route. And I don't 
feel like stressed about it or anything that I attempted to do 20. I mean, I'm going to finish them and everything, but um, I think I would just do a few at a time. All right, next set here. Okay, those have backs on them. Let me see where I am for time. 45. Okay, instead of doing these, what I'm going to do is we're going to do some punching. And no, we're not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> we're just going to do a little hole punching here. Because I want all these are going to be done kind of the same way. Let's see what we have here. I'm trying to read the uh, chat. Yep, I write in my journals. I write in all of my journals. So right now I'm I'm keeping like a daily journal. And you got you all saw me when I um, did the watercolors on the papers to prepare them. Uh, I actually I had a goal to write in my journal every day in August. And I've been doing that. So I have to, still have to write in it for today. So, um, and in my junk journal, I always do writing in my junk journals as well. <laughs> Penny says SpongeBob drives her crazy. He doesn't drive me crazy. He's just funny to me. I don't like SpongeBob. I don't know why. But Sandy is my favorite character. Okay, very nice. Next. Yeah, I'm using the uh, one eighth of a punch on these. underdog people don't know who underdog is jamie we had a dog and my brother threw him down the stairs because he thought he could fly he thought he was underdog <laughs> he lived my brother is terrible uh he didn't turn out to be a serial killer though but sometimes i wonder <laughs> Oh, Boo Boo Kitty knows who um, Underdog is. I can, I can hear the song in my head too, but I don't know the song, so I'm not gonna sing it. I don't like. I don't know any other song. All I know is the Underdog. Oh, uh, Underdog, Underdog. <laughs> That's all I know on the Underdog song. Bye, Jen. I have you cracking up. Oh, by my brother and that dog. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, girl. It ain't a game. My peoples know. They know I'm on it this time. So even my mother stopped calling during the second. Sometimes she would call and I'd be like, I'm on. She'd be like, oh, I forgot. But I think now she knows. And everybody is pretty quiet in the house because they know. Well, Slim's always quiet anyway. He's a quiet guy. So it's all good. Oh, I ha you know what? I think I have that book over here. Where is it at? I think I have that same book, Tamika. I like that book. And I want to say somebody gave it to me, but I think I bought it myself, actually. And I, I actually haven't been looking at it. Where's that book at? I don't know. I don't even know where it's at right now. That's my life. Super Tech, you know who Underdog is? Right on. <laughs> 
Oh, your son was underdog. That's cool. Underdog was a cool character, but I don't think the kids now would like, they don't appreciate those old time cartoons. But I was surprised that, um, that, um, Slim liked, uh, Tom and Jerry. I was really surprised. He liked it so much. I don't know if he watches it now, but. He liked Tom and Jerry so much he knew like all the words to the cartoon. He laughed and he just really enjoyed Tom and Jerry. I was like, what? Of course, I enjoy Bugs Bunny. Oh, that, bu that book is only the prompts. They have some kind of crazy prompts in there. Oh, I know where that book is. I wonder if it's the same book. Want me to go get it and see? <laughs> Let me know if you want me to get the book. I think I know where it's at. It's in my meditation area, I think, where I haven't been meditating. I believe. Maybe. Oh, this is stuck. I think I pressed it too hard or something. I think something's crooked when it gets stuck like that. Oh, let's see here. Ah, I think the tool I need is in the kitchen. Come off of here. There we go. Yep, I demolished that one. Oh, you fell off. Perfect. I don't know if I can put another one on there. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Penny. Thumbs up for Lizzie. Yes. <laughs> if you are enjoying, give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs down will not be accepted. It's not acceptable. <laughs> oh, you like Roadrunner? I even liked Woody Woodpecker. I used to love watching Woody Woodpecker after school. All right, something weird is going on. Let me make sure. I don't know why I have so much trouble with these really small um, one eighth eyelets it might be the eyelets themselves i said if i buy some more i'm not gonna buy them from the same person because i'm thinking these are like some kind of really cheap old depot ones okay that's that came out perfect and <laughs> get the hammer <laughs> no hammer people no hammer Yeah, me and Slim, we still have to go. We got to go to the beach one more time before he goes to school, go back to school. Even though I promised myself to only go once a month, but you know, we got to have our beach time together. I'm going to be lonely when Slim leaves, when he goes back to his real life. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, and Popeye. You know kids don't know who Popeye is. I think we talked about that. Or I talked about it with my mom. You no know, kids these days don't know who Popeye is. And his his cans of spinach and olive oil with them skinny legs. And them big old, them big clod hoppers. And that baby that nobody know who the daddy was. Who the baby daddy was. This is, um, Barbara asked, um, what is the punch gun that I'm using? This is actually an, uh, it is an eyelet, what is it called? An eyelet maker or something like that. It's We Are Memory Keepers eyelet something. <laughs> and I like this one, but I would say if you, if you're going to get one, they have another one. It's called the Big Bite. 
and it does the same thing but it actually has more of a reach so if you wanted to use this like on a book you can't you can't like reach into the middle of the book to punch holes but the big bite can and it does the same thing and also with this one i have to you know you have to like really use your hands to kind of punch with the big bite you can put it down on the surface and then just push it down i think it that would be easier so um, um, that's on my to-do list i'm just waiting to get it on sale but if i had a chance to do it over again i would have not got this and got the big bite instead now this is probably easier to store because the big bite is ginormous so just to let you know but still i still think i would have got the big bite instead because I definitely won't need two of them because I think they make the same uh, holes. I don't know if anybody has a big bite out there. Then you all can speak to it. So Penny says she has the big bite. So um, is it true what I'm saying? Do you think that uh, you would go for the big bite rather than have the big bite than this one? Yosemite Sam, Foghorn Leghorn. Oh my goodness. Y'all taking me back. All right. This one is doing a little sticking. See, I probably wouldn't have these issues if I was using the Big Bite. Because the Big Bite is the joint. That's weird. Y'all didn't even, I don't know. It left like this little tiny hole in the middle. It didn't punch all the way through. I think this one's a dud. Did it get, I couldn't even get, can't even get a, um, a piece of string through that. That one's a dud. We don't want no stinking duds. Uh -oh. Just luckily I was able to remove that without damaging this too much. Or I have to be doing some kind of, of a fix. There we go. Perfect. And let's do this one. And I'm going to go, let's see. Where are we at? Oh, we're almost done. So I'll just review what we have done so far. <laughs> Let's do this last one here. I never have any problems with the uh, 3 sixteenths um, eyelids. I will say also that I had to go online to get my eyelids because... I could never find them at the store. I mean, I found them at, um, I think at Hobby Lobby. You can find them in the sewing section, actually. But, yeah, no. Y'all hear me breathing hard? This one was a hard one. Okay. Let's get this off of a D-desk so we can look at it. Oh, it even works on metal, the Big Bite does? Yeah, I don't think I could use this for metal. You see what a hard time I'm having with these little bitty grommets. Okay. All right, turn that off. So let's look and see what we have now. So let's bring it down some and let me take my glasses off so I can make sure this is focused. You know what? My focus was very good today. And I didn't have to do a lot of changing the focus. I'm surprised. I don't think I did. I had my glasses on the whole time though. Okay. So this is the one that we did with the guest check. With the mini guest check. Which I really, really, I love those. I'm so glad I made those. I'm going to use them forever. <laughs> uh, I kept repeating myself. I was not repeating myself, boo-boo kitty. I was not repeating myself, boo-boo kitty. I was not repeating myself, Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is the back. 
All right, so this is this one, and we just use a flower, and then we use this from the um, PC uh, digital kit, PC uh, tickets, and then also the PC vintage label digital kit, and also the washi. Can't forget the washi. The washi is the unsung hero of this whole thing, and we can still see all of the text behind it. And then on the back, we did that, and <laughs> that was pretty funny. I had to pat myself on the back for that one. <laughs> okay, and then we had this one here with this big old, I think I'm going to print more big flowers because I like using the big flowers. <laughs> that was kind of bad, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, Lordy, I cracked myself up. And then this is the back here. And you can see where I folded the flower over the back. You can just barely see it, but it works out. Is this one folded over? Yeah, this one had a piece that was folded over too. Waste not, want not. <laughs> I'm glad you all are enjoying because I'm enjoying too. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm just like this in real life too. Y'all talking to the real life person. Okay, and then this is the back. Look at all that beautifulness on that paper. So beautiful. And here's another one. And I think I cut this one off. It's not going to the back. And the back. The, oh, yes, it is. There it is right there. Oh, isn't that lovely? I guess I could put something on the back, too. Or maybe a stamp or something like that. But, you know, see, that's when my brain starts going. I could just keep on, keep on, keep on. Yes, the digital kits, they're just PDFs, PDF files. And so they work perfectly on Macs and PCs. So you shouldn't have any problems. But if you do, just uh, let me know and maybe I can help you with it. Um, I'm not making any promises on that. I don't have a PC, so, but I have a Mac, so that... It goes to tell you that all the kits work for me. Oh, fireflies. That would be pretty. Yeah, I remember fireflies when I was a kid. They don't have them down here in Florida. They don't have fireflies. They only have them up north. I remember we used to play with them, right? And it was always cool because right before, we had to be in when the street lights came on. And so... Um, right before it was time for us to come in, uh, the fireflies would be out because they always come at, come out at dusk. It was so cool. You could, and they're so slow, you can catch them. And I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story on that one. <laughs> After we caught them, what happened? But just know that they're beautiful animals. <laughs> oh, it makes it look like mason jars. I think so. I guess it does kind of look, it looks like a tall mason jar, huh? Almost like a baby bottle, almost, some of these. I had not even thought about that. Nope, no lightning bugs here. Don't have any lightning bugs. And you know what? I didn't even really realize we didn't have any lightning bugs until I went home to visit one time. And I saw the lightning bugs, and I was like, you know what? They don't have they don't have those here in Florida. So this is what we got. Let's see how many did we do? One. I'm gonna do the rest, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Ha 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 ha. So I'll have 11 more to do to make 20. <laughs> I could probably do that because I was watching um, Battleship before I came on. I love that movie, Battleship. Something about that movie. I've seen it a gazillion times, but I love it. With Rihanna. I love that movie. I could watch that over and over again. So that's all our tags for today. I don't know. I don't know what kind of hell it is. <laughs> yes, these came out really nice, didn't they? And, oh, let me fix the. There we go. Yeah, these came out really nice today. 
I like these because they were pretty, pretty simple. And um, one reason why I made them, y'all, I kind of, I didn't really cheat, but um, I was cleaning up in here like I usually do, moving stuff from one spot to another. And I ran across my tr a treasure trove of unfinished um, tags. So I had already cut these. I had already cut them. So this is what they looked like before. Focus, Mr. Focus. Doesn't want to focus, but um, so I had already had these. So all I had to do was put everything on. I didn't have to do any cutting. They're already glued together and everything. So I was like, that is nice. That's nice. And then, of course, I used my uh, little credit card thingy for the guy to do like the, the little uh, edges on the side too. All right, I'm hungry. I'm ready. I'm tired. I'm going to finish a few more of these and fix me and Slim something to eat. And I'm glad everybody came on with me today. And the digital kits that I mentioned, they are all up at pleasantcreations.com. So you can go over there and you can check it out. The link is below in the description. And also, I put the link uh, to... Um, this little doohickey here that will do the slots and I don't think it costs more than like nine bucks or something like that for, um, If I'm not mistaken, so it's a pretty good plot price So the link is below as well on this and this is what I used Oh, I did do 20 y'all because I forgot about these because we have some more here Let's see it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then I did these 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, 20. <laughs> I forgot about these tags also. See y'all, I'm knee deep in tags. <laughs> and I still have some more to finish. Just a few, I'm, I'm almost, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel on my, on my beautiful uh, journals that are going to be coming up hopefully by the end of the week. All right. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and say, um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Don't forget to don't leave without hitting the thumbs up button. And also you can join us over in the junk journal buddies, Facebook group, and all the links are in the description below. And uh, I will see you all on tomorrow's video or over in the Facebook group. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.